Hey Megan, so what do I do when I'm not in the mood to run? Um, I go run. <laughs> there are two times to train, when you want to and when you don't want to. And you gotta have empathy with your future self. Your future self will be really glad that you went out for that run, even though it is um, looking like that outside today when it was 72 degrees two days ago. Um, it was snowing earlier. I ran, I ran in this, I ran in, in a pretty, pretty decent sized wet, um, little snowstorm. So, uh, you gotta have empathy with your future self. I know, I knew that my future self would be disappointed in me if I didn't run this morning. Um, I know that my future goals and aspirations depend upon what I do today, what I did this morning, what I did last month. It's all built upon each other. All the runs, all the five minutes that I do lunges, all the drills, um, getting proper sleep, adequate protein, all that stuff uh, might not be the super most enjoyable thing before you do it. Going out and running when it's snowing might not be the the most fun thing you could do it in that moment. But it's the same with like eating the Oreos or not. <laughs> I tell myself that uh, once I start running or once I don't eat the Oreos, I'll be glad that I, I'll be glad that I went and ran outside in the snow. Um, e even if I'm not glad that I did it while I'm doing it, as soon as I finish that run, I'm gonna be proud of myself, my future self, is going to be thankful that I did that run. Um, so that's how I control, that's how I control ur uh, like urges to eat all the Oreos. And that's how I get myself to go run when I don't want to.